Yo, what's up? It's Ronnie Ron. Back to those hot videos. Yo, Natalia, take over tonight. Tell the people what your name is. Natalia Damini. <laughs> Say it again. Natalia Damini. That's right. Household name. You know what I'm saying? And like, I love playing your video because when I do play your video, I play with high power artists. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So, because I feel as if you, you're a high power artist. You know, you belong right up there with everybody Beyonce, Lady Gaga, Katy Perry, all of them. You right there, if not better. And I'm saying that right now. Thank you. you know what I mean? Uh, and a day is Saturday, and I don't die a lot. I don't lie a day before Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> so, how you feel about your career? How's it going right now for you? Oh, it's doing very great. I, I'm on a magazine in Double Excel. I have a lot of things going on, interviews, photo shoots, video clips. I'm going to tape for my next single, Magic. I'm going to do a video clip. So a lot of things going on. I'm very, very proud about where, where I came to now. Yeah, I've seen a lot of magazines, too, like on the cover and stuff. Oh, and I'm also working on my new album, too. What's the name of it? Andy. Mm. Oh, okay, all right. Andy, yeah. Oh, yeah, so that's that's coming out, like, pretty soon? Yes, pretty soon. It's coming wow. out. Okay, let me ask you this. If you, if you had one wish, right, and you can't wish for no more wishes, just one wish. One wish. Containing to your career, what would that wish be, Natalia? Do great things for the world. Definitely. Do great things for the world? Yes. And name a couple of great things that you would do for the world. Um, a lot of things actually, but especially uh, making somebody's dream coming true. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I want. Okay. Take somebody from the street and, and making their dreams coming true. Wow. That's what I, that's, what, that's my purpose to do. But you know what's crazy about that? You already fulfilled that dream because you just made my dream come true. Uh. You know, franchise, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? So, so that's a great dream for me because I always wanted to have you on the show because I play your videos so much. I wanted people to get you know what you're about. You know what I'm saying? How was it growing up in Brazil? Oh, that was very, that was very nice mm. actually, because I came from a small city in Brazil in Fortaleza. Mm. It's not a big city, right. but then I, when I was 17, I moved to a big city, which was São Paulo, alone by myself. Mm. And I struggled a lot in my career because we've been through a lot of things and in the beginning of your career. But I took it the best way to to grow up my personality and my my personality not only personally but uh, working too. So I grew up a lot with the things that I've been through. And and I'm very I'm very proud of what I am and what I did. And you tour a lot of cities in Brazil, like the major cities yes. you did tours in. Yes, all, mm. almost all the, the Brazilian cities, the main cities we, uh, I did. I did shows over there, São Paulo, Rio, mm. Florianopolis, yeah, from north to mm. south. Wow. And what is that feeling when you come on stage, right? They're like, tonight, yes! Tonight, uh, yes! Uh, tonight, yes! We got a tally of the main! How is that feeling when you walk on stage like that? I'm like, ah! You know, it's funny because before I go to stage, I feel so nervous, but when I get there, it's like, it's like all that energy that people bring to me, it's like I, I am Natalia Damini at that time, you know. Right. Uh, before the stage, I'm only Natalia, but when mm. I get it, I'm Natalia Damini and I explode and I put a lot of energy on yeah. my dance, on my voice, on my music. My, my main focus on stage mm. is having fun yeah. and make people have fun too and feel it what I'm feeling. Yeah. Yeah, it's all a, a change of feelings on stage. And like, who are some of the people that inspired you to, to sing, like, that you looked up to? Mm, Michael Jackson. Okay. I got a lot of Britney Spears, too. Uh, yeah, okay, <laughs> all right. Yes, Whitney, Mariah, Celine Dion. I used to sing a lot of her songs when I was a kid. Mm. I was trying to imitate her voice. <laughs> <laughs> I do that a lot, <laughs> but yet all this, this, this greatest thing, they inspired me in a certain way. Right. You know Selena too. Selena. Selena. Well, you, know, you know what's decent about that? By you being out and being an artist now, you going to have people, you know, emanating you. You know what I'm saying? They trying to sing like you. They want to be the next Natalia because that you're so hot with your, with your business, how you do it, how you sing, how you move. So you got people in their living room like actually trying to be like you right now. See, everything goes around in full circles. So now the circle is coming around to you. You got little girls like, I want to be like her. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, so you got an artist right now that's young, sitting on the couch, 
she's like, oh, I love Natalia, and I want you to talk to her like you talking to her standing right there. Could you say something to that artist that's going to be like you? Um, you know, uh, people that, that get inspired by each other, I think when we are an artist that we have such a spotlight on us, we got to show our best and do our best, not for only inspiring, but changing people's life. So what, I'm tell for, what I would tell for somebody that, that is inspired on me is never give up on their dreams. Never, ever. No matter what happened. Okay. But never give up on their dreams. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> It's another question I want you to say. Uh -huh. I want you to name something that you always wanted to do, but you never got a chance to do it. And I could grant it to you right now on the spot. Who would that be? Mm, dreaming of you, Selena. Mm. I never did that. Okay. Uh, no, I think Human Nature, Michael Jackson. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, these two that? songs. Okay. Yeah. Now, if you could go on tour, right? And you could pick any artist in the world that you could tour with. You the headliner though. You know they ain't falling behind you. You the headliner, right? They gotta come, you know, come before you. What would that artist be? Like he's like, I'm traveling, but you know. Somebody that would be on the show with me yeah. that I would invite. Oh. Yeah, that you would invite. I can't meet somebody that already dead. Yeah, All right. It don't matter. Oh, my dream would be sharing the stage with Michael Jackson okay. or Elvis Presley. Ooh. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> That's a great answer. That's the greatest ever doing, you know what I'm saying? You can't, no, you can't get no higher than that. You know, a lot of people say Prince. Yeah, you know I like I Prince, yeah, too. Prince, you know I, mean? I, I had some I hardcore rappers that, you know, rap that hardcore gun stuff. I was like, yo, I asked the same question. I was like, yo, man. For real, Prince, though. Yeah, <laughs> I would love to share the stage with Prince, too. <laughs> He's one of my favorites, too. One of your favorites too. Yes. All right, so look, this is Ronnie Brown Franchise Live with Natalia. You know, Concord Entertainment's in the building. Shout out to my man, Sarvey, to die, holding it down. You know, hey, Sarvey, like, he's like 12 years old. Yeah. You know, I, I, I got to check his license before we leave because, you, you know, you look kind of young, you know what I'm saying? But you know what? So let's get back to some more hot videos. And um, what video you want to go to next? Uh, let's go to One More Chance. Alright, that's up on Franchise Live next. And you know what? Uh. Do your job, man!